Well, he joined the club in 1949. He was 18 when he came to, to Glasgow. Uh, big change for him, obviously, coming from Pretoria into a city, a big dark city that just you know, recovered from the war. But obviously, to arrive at a place like Ibrox, this huge stadium, great stadium, uh, he started to learn a bit more about the club as well because he never really knew much about mm -hmm. them before he came here. But uh, he was here for 10 years. Uh, it took him a few years to get into the, the team because we had a team that had just come off the back of a treble, our first treble. But, uh, but he was a great winger for the club. Eventually, they recognised that he had a great potential from the, the penalty spot and went on to score 60 from 63. So, a uh, great achievement. No, it's, a, it's some record, to be fair to him. It's, um, to have that, that standard and that level for so long, it's, it's quite impressive. And to see him today bouncing around the, around the pitch at his age is, is, is quite incredible. Would you quite like to be like that at 84? I'll be lucky if I'm still walking at 84 <laughs> at, this, at this rate. It's, um, like you say, from the, to be this energetic and, and keep going, it's obviously credit to himself and, and what he's achieved. He's obviously very proud and it's a, it's a great day for him and it's great to be a part of, really. Did he give you any penalty tips this afternoon? Yeah, don't miss. <laughs> Which is, uh, he put us under some pressure, really, just saying that he never used to practice as well. So I think we're going to we're gonna have to get improved as well. You do you know if he'd scored many penalties before that point that he came to Rangers? Yes, he'd always taken penalties for other clubs, and but when he arrived here, George Young took the penalties or Willie Wardle, so he was he was down the pecking order as such, and of course he was still a young guy at that time, but uh, but his his whole career wasn't all about penalties. Uh, he scored a hat trick against Celtic, the last foreign player to do so. He scored what Alec Ferguson uh, described as the best ever goal he'd seen, and that was in that hat trick. Uh, so uh, he's he's had a a good career. He had quite a good Rangers career for a player who wasn't even officially signed when he first came over. He had to kind of impress, didn't he? Well, he did. He was only over here on a short-term trial, uh, but uh, he came out on the pitch when the first day arrived. He was running around the pitch and playing with the ball, and, and uh, Bill Struth, who was the manager at that time, was watching him from the director's box and uh, called Johnny back upstairs and said, you've got a year's contract, so, uh, and really it went on from there. So, uh, But he's a, he's a great character as well, I mean, apart from his playing career, mm -hmm. he still comes to Ibrox every Saturday and um, it takes him two buses to get here. You know, can you imagine that from Presswick? Even now, you know, you wouldn't want to take two buses, but he does it. He's nearly 85 and, you know, he still comes here faithfully every, every week.